It's true to say that poorer communities across the country are disproportionately um, exposed to these high levels of air pollution, and that's air pollution that often they're not responsible for producing themselves. Um, the impact of uh, being exposed to air pollution has an impact upon education of our young people. So for, for kids who are exposed to high levels of air pollution, they're more likely to miss days of school due to their illness, things like asthma, um, and that can have an impact upon their educational attainment. For parents, they're more likely to miss days of work through being ill themselves and having to stay home to look after their kids. And this all has an impact upon the productivity of our workforce. It means that people are more likely to miss days of work, and it's estimated, poor air quality is estimated to cost the UK economy around £20 billion a year. So that's the situation as it currently exists, and as you can see, we're, the situation for, as far as air pollution and transport goes is we're not doing stuff that's good for the environment, good for the economy, or good for people, frankly, at the moment. We're failing on both of those three, three fronts. So let's see how maybe our things might, might be different. There's a whole host of things that can be done to tackle the issue of air pollution. So one of them is around helping to encourage more walking, more cycling, more use of public transport, and shift towards things like electric vehicles. By doing that, we can help to reduce levels of air pollution, particularly in urban areas. We can improve the health of our population, we can reduce the cost for our health service, we can reduce the exposure, particularly of poorer communities, and the justice side of stuff is really important here. We can help to improve the educational attainment and opportunities for our young people. Um, we as workers can miss a few days of work due to um, reduced risk of things like illness like asthma. And that can help to improve the productivity of the workforce and reduce the cost to the economy. And so here we have an opportunity by, by focusing climate action in a way which helps to tackle things like poverty and helps to um, reduce the cost of the economy. We can help to try and meet some of this bit that's in the middle that's truly fair and truly sustainable. And this is just one example of the ways in which climate action can be directed towards a whole bunch of different other outcomes. And the good news is, I think, from my side, is that so much of the stuff that we should be doing to tackle climate change is stuff that we should be doing anyway for a whole bunch of different reasons that relates to improving health, improving the economy, um, and making people's lives better. And I'll just finish off with a little video um, which gives an indication about the, kind of, the, the linkages that exist between stuff that's good for tackling climate change and stuff that's good for other things. We're taking action on climate change.